Hey, welcome back. This just in. Um, pretty simple tachometer. It's the Auto Gauge 2300 by Autometer. Well, let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, I got a pretty cheap tack in my car. So I thought I'd go with a little bit more name brand gauge. And let's see what's inside. How do you get in this thing? This box is glued shut. So you're going to destroy the box, at least I am, getting this thing out. So, I'm not sending this one back. Okay, let's see what's all inside. Uh, we have the mount. The steering column. Check that out. Mount for the steering column. The gauge will sit right in inside. Uh, instructions. Probably everything you need to know how to hook it up. I switch over to four, six, and eight cylinder. I don't think these will work with the Audi five cylinders, but maybe online you can find out to make it work with them but I'm kind of sure it won't but I'll have to look that up and I'll put in the comments or let you know down below uh, hardware stuff to mount your gauge and the gauge itself it's pretty solid construction Uh, definitely made out of plastic. Um, it only goes to eight, 8,000 RPM. Um, it only connects with four wires. I believe one's a light, one's a signal, one's a power, and one is a ground. Pretty simple to hook up. And I think you'll have to take off this back screw to switch it over. So let's take out the back and see what's inside. Yes, uh, this is nothing. Don't touch this. And you'll have to set these little pins right there for your cylinder selection. I'm going with eight cylinders and it looks like my pins are in the correct positions, both up. And then four cylinder it'll be both down and for six cylinder one will be down and two will be up. And I'm not sure if you swap those, what would happen? There's this inside. Um, it's three and a half. This should be a three and three quarter gauge on the outside of this black ring. And this should fit in your dash if you cut a hole about three and three eighths, I think I said online. If you want to sink it into your dash, make it look pretty clean. I also want to tell you which wires are which. It looks like the 12, or uh, white, is your 12 volt dash lighting. Red is your power on. Black is a ground. And green is your signal. So if you're wondering how to wire it up, um, to adjust this, you move it inside the gauge, not this outer ring. This does not have a shift light or a recall. It's super basic and it'll work, should work pretty well. And also another comment I saw was this is not reading zero when the car is off. That is no big deal because when you turn the car on and the engine is started up, this should read properly with the power and signal going to it. So 
if it's not zeroing out when you have the car off, it's not a big issue. Um, this is the 2300 model. Um, there's the 2301, 2302, 2303, 2304, and 2309, which are basically exactly like this, just a uh, chrome white, white uh, gauge face or different variation of looks, but they're basically the same. Also, if you want to pick one of these up, I have a link in the, des the description. I'll also compare this to the other one I was going to hook up in a later video and I'll also show you how to hook this up in a later video. And this has been the Alloy Speed Channel and thanks for watching.